I was like, what is this? They gave me water in a can. Like, who would buy that? That's such a gimmick. It just sounds so stupid to me. And like, I literally was giving it such a hard time. And then I tried it. What's up you guys and welcome back to my channel. Number one, I am sorry I look so bummy right now. I don't really feel very good. It's kind of like later in the evening. I'm super, super tired. I'm just feeling really drained. So I'm like in my sweats and obviously my hair looks like a hot bag of trash, so I apologize. But today I just wanted to go over with you guys some things that I recently picked up. I went to Marshalls and I also picked up something off of Amazon that's also skincare related. So I figured I'd just go over with you guys everything that I got. Um, the reason that I got a bunch of skincare is because I recently realized that my skincare in my makeup artist kit was really, really lacking, and so I needed to pick up some new moisturizers. Um, I didn't want to repurchase my Embryolisse, which is what I've been using in the past. I ran out of it, and so I wanted to try something new, although I do love that moisturizer so much, and it is such a makeup artist kit staple. Um, it's really good for anyone that has like really dry skin because it is very, very emollient and like thicker. So it's great for winter time, but I just want to try some new stuff. So I went shopping. I got some stuff for me. I got some stuff for my kit and I'm just kind of like trying it all out. Over the last two days, I have just kind of like been playing with the products and seeing like their consistencies and like getting some first impressions. So I found some e.l.f. skincare at Marshalls. They were really good price. This one was $3.99. This was also $3.99, I believe. I've obviously already opened them, um, but this is the Hydrating Water Essence. It says that it is purified water, coconut water, and algae. Honestly, I wasn't really sure what this is gonna be like because I've never actually bought an essence, so I didn't realize that it was gonna be like this, um, liquid consistency. Number one, I absolutely love the packaging of all of this e.l.f. stuff. I think it's just like so pretty and like visually appealing, just like that soft greeny blue kind of color. It definitely looks very like spa-like and hydrating to me. Basically what this says is it's a lightweight water-based lotion that hydrates for a healthy glowing skin. It leaves skin feeling refreshed and smooth. It's infused with purified water, coconut, and algae. And then it says the directions, after cleansing, apply on a cotton pad or fingertips and gently press into the skin, starting from the center out. And then this can be used twice a day, morning and evening. It smells very good. It smells very like clean, but then slightly floral, I would say. Not a heavy scent. It's not overwhelming at all and it's not like too much, I would say. It is very light. It smells really, really good. It smells very, very yummy. When it comes out, it is kind of in between the consistency of a thicker like face serum and like a water consistency. And then you kind of just spread it all over and it sinks into the skin very quickly. If any of you guys have used like pure hyaluronic acid serum, which is an extremely good moisturizer for the skin, it's the same kind of like consistency. It doesn't look like in the ingredients it has hyaluronic acid, but it does have like glycerin as the second ingredient. For $3.99, I really like this. I think it's like really lightweight. Personally, I probably wouldn't apply it with the cotton pad like it said, because I feel like it would just like sink into the cotton and not get on your face. So I would definitely use my hands to apply this, but it was really nice and smelled really good. So if you guys see this at your local Marshalls, I don't know, I thought it was yummy. I'm really interested to try it further. I'm keeping that for myself. And then also I got the e.l.f. Water Droplet Balm. It says it's a hydrating balm to water moisturizer. When I bought this, for some reason, I was thinking more of like, I don't know if you guys have tried the Sonia Roselli Water Balm, which is a moisturizer that's very, very lightweight. And when you kind of like dab it into the skin, it almost turns into like a water type consistency. It goes from like, a cream and then it turns like very watery and really like sinks into the skin quickly which is like such an amazing moisturizer but it is rather expensive although I highly recommend it I think it's worth every penny so that's what I was thinking that this was going to be similar as sorry if you guys hear my pug she's snoring she's on her little princess dog bed over there I picked this up and that's what I was thinking it was going to be like but upon opening it 
It is a balm consistency, so it literally looks almost like a wax consistency. I don't know if you guys can like see it with the lights, but it looks like, you know what it reminds me of is like, a pomade for your hair when you first look at it like it doesn't look like a moisturizer it's not soft when i touch it though it begins to like melt away it leaves such a like moisturized almost like water droplet it is the craziest consistency i've never seen a product with this consistency even right now when you look at it i can see all the little like water droplets on the very very top of the surface because i put my finger into it just a really interesting consistency it was hard for me to use this this with my finger because as soon as I touched the top it kind of like turned to that water consistency so what I did was actually get a little brush here it is I got this little eco tools brush that's like a duo fiber and I just swirled it in there and it picked up some of the product on the end of the brush there and then I swept it all over my face and it really just gives you like Oh my gosh, it just feels so refreshing. I also don't know how, like I don't know how to explain the consistency of this. It's just very lightweight. It's like you almost just went like swimming in like some Fiji water and like your skin is just like hydrated and like wet. I don't know how to explain it. Have you guys tried this or even seen it? I haven't even really like noticed it when I'm at like the drugstore or when I'm at Target or anything like that. I honestly think I might donate this to my makeup artist kit and try to find another one for myself later on just because I felt like it was really nice to use with my brush. But if I find another one of these at Marshalls, I'm gonna buy it for myself because I really like, I don't know, it's just different, I like it. Definitely interesting. This one also does have a very light scent. It smells clean and also slightly floral. And then the last one is this. This is the e.l.f. Hydrating Coconut Mist. It says it hydrates skin and refreshes makeup with hyaluronic acid and vitamin E. I saw that e.l.f. came out with a new, is it illuminating or like dewy makeup setting mist? It looks exactly like this, except for it is in a yellow tube. And I heard that it smells really, really good. Kind of like tropical smell, similar to the Butter Bronzer from Physician's Formula. Which is interesting because that's also how I feel like this smells. It literally smells exactly like the Physicians Formula Butter Bronzer. It smells really, really good. It feels really nice and hydrating on the face. I don't think it's supposed to help your makeup last any longer. I think it's supposed to just kind of like refresh your skin. So out of all of these e.l.f. products, I'm like really into them so far. Let me know if you guys have tried any of those. I also, I don't know if you guys have seen it, but there is a exfoliating peel. What's it called? Hold on, let me look it up really fast from e.l.f. and I've been wanting to try it. It is called the e.l.f. Cosmetics Gentle Peeling Exfoliant. It says that it is an exfoliating cleanser that peels away dead skin leaving healthy glowing skin. It has tangerine, papaya, and licorice extracts. One of my very favorite things for um, face peels is papaya extract because it literally eats away dead skin. It's amazing. I've had a few products that I've used with it and it is so good. So I really wanna try this because it's only $10, which is not bad for a product like that as long as it works really well. So let me know if you guys have tried that or if you recommend me getting it or you're curious about me getting it and letting you guys know how it goes. This is just on the Ulta website. It looks like this and it looks like it's in the same like skincare line. I really, really, really wanna try that. Okay, don't make fun of me for this next one. Just hear me out for a second. I bought these Evian facial sprays which is a mineral water in an aerosol can. I know that sounds crazy that I bought water, <laughs> but hear me out. I got a sample of one of these or like a mini travel size of one of these mineral spring waters in like an Ipsy like so many years ago. It was probably like two to three years ago. And I literally ragged on it so hard to my husband. I was like, what is this? They gave me water in a can. Like who would buy that? That's such a gimmick. It just sounds so stupid to me. And like I literally was giving it such a hard time. And then I tried it. And it was amazing. I put it on before bed as like a facial spray because I usually like to leave like a nice facial mist next to my bed. I have like the Mario Badescu one right now. But I put that all over my face and it left my skin feeling so baby soft smooth. 
that I was like, what? So then I did it to my husband just to see if like it was in my mind. I sprayed it on him. He let it dry. He felt his face and he was like, wait, this stuff is like really nice. Like my skin feels really good. And I was like, what is going on? And ever since then I've been hooked. So I saw these, these are the Evian mineral water and I saw them at Marshall's. They were $10, $9.99. And I think that this is usually around $18 at Ulta. So I ended up buying two of them, one for myself and one for my makeup artist kit. Again, this isn't something that you wanna use to set your makeup. This is more of a product to use to like make sure all of your powders kind of like lay down or just refresh yourself like throughout the day. If it's really hot, I like to just give myself a spray or at night, I like to use it before bed. Let me know if you guys have tried this at all. I literally love this stuff. Like they had several more of these at my local Marshalls and I actually thought about buying like six of them because they were like half the price they normally are and they're so good. Don't think I'm crazy that I bought $10 bottled mineral water. If you've tried it, you know that it's bomb, or at least I thought it was bomb. It just made my skin feel like so soft and like so just yummy, juicy. I loved it. I loved it. Don't call me crazy. <laughs> All right, this next one is from the brand Skin and Good Sera, which I have never heard of, but I thought it sounded really intriguing. This is a Korean skincare brand because it is all in Korean all over the package. Where's the box? I don't know what it was, but something about this box just like really intrigued me. I don't know, just like something about Korean skincare and how they like package things and just like make everything look so cute. It just makes me wanna buy it, you know? And so I got this. It was $4.99 and it says super ceramide. And then on the side here, it just says it is a ceramide moisturizer that instantly hydrates, nourishes skin for up to 72 hours. I have tried this one time. It looks like this. It's a rather thick moisturizer. So it feels like it would be something good to put on at night. I don't necessarily know if I would put this on underneath people's makeup or under your makeup, just because it does feel rather thick, but it does seem like a little bit more hydrating and creamy it is something that I feel like would be nice as a moisturizer at night. I don't love the scent. It smells, it's a little herbal maybe, herbal I would say. Um, I don't know the ingredients of this because like I said, everything is in Korean. <laughs> so I have no idea what the ingredients are. So I will think I will use this as my night cream once I am done with my current night cream. And then I got another little Korean skincare thing. It seems to be from the same brand. Don't roast me, I don't know anything about Korean skincare, so if you do and you're an expert, like, don't make fun of me. But this is called the Lazy and Easy All-in-One Master. It was $7.99. Let's see if it says anything about this on here. This is the Good Sarah All-in-One Master One Step Ultra Moisture Essence, providing all benefits with one Sera droplet. I'm not really sure what a Sera is, but I don't know. Anyways, it looks like a little chicken or something to me. It's super cute and I like the packaging. I like how it has like this big like pump here. This one feels more like a silicone gel. It's like very serum-y but also very hydrating. And I feel like once I blended this into my skin, it felt slightly like it had silicone in it or like it felt like my skin was smooth. And that's what, whenever I put silicone products on my skin, I feel like that's how my skin feels, but I don't think this does have silicone in it. Oh, it does, dimethicone, okay. Yeah, so it might be good for anyone that has like fine lines or pores, but it feels super soft. Like as soon as I put it on my skin, like it felt really, really smooth. So I would say, I would say that this would be like a last step in putting on my skincare before makeup, almost as like a face primer. So yeah, that was really, really nice as well. And then the last thing I got was from Amazon um, and it was this product here, Walenda. 
This is a really old school skincare product and this is called Skin Food. I was recently listening to a podcast. It was like a beauty podcast. I forget the name of it. I listened to a few of them, but they were talking about this brand and someone was talking about how Pat McGrath was using it to make the skin look really glossy and just what an amazing brand it is. I think that it's like all organic. They were actually talking about how they have their own farm. I forget if it was like in Switzerland or somewhere, don't quote me on that, but they have their own farm where they grow all of the ingredients that is made in this skincare. So this has sunflower seed oil, lanolin, um, sweet almond oil, beeswax, rosemary. So all of the different like extracts and like plants, they grow and they make it into the skincare. How amazing is that? It just sounded like, I didn't even know that was a thing. It just sounded so cool. So I had to order it. I think it was like $9 on Amazon. This is the original and it is a bit thicker. It's almost like a cream. I don't know how to describe it. It's very, very thick but they do make one that is lighter, that's like a face moisturizer, and they make, I think, like a baby rash cream. They make all sorts of different products, but this is the original one. Super moisturizing, and it leaves your skin so, so soft. Like, it's almost like something to protect your skin, like maybe after you get a tattoo or something and you want something very balmy and hydrating to protect your skin, or if you have like, really bad rash or like chafed skin, you want to protect the skin by putting on a very emollient thick moisturizer. If you have a lot of like calluses on your feet or just really dry hands, maybe even like eczema, this might be great for. It smells very hippie spa to me, but not bad, not in a bad way. It's very, is definitely very herbal and natural smelling. If you like very like natural smells, it definitely is fragrance, but I absolutely love this. On the back here it says, it is the ultimate whole body moisturizer for dry, rough skin. It intensively hydrates with extracts of rosemary, chamomile, pansy, and a nourishing base of sunflower and sweet almond oil to help unlock the radiance and give you a healthy looking glow. I'm curious if it would be too thick to wear on my face. I was thinking about maybe trying to thin it out with like a oil or a different moisturizer. Rumors are Pat McGrath uses this on top of makeup to make the skin look very glistening and glossy. That's what they said in the podcast. All right, you guys, I think that is about it. That is everything as far as skincare that I got recently from Marshalls and Amazon. Thank you so much for hanging out with me and understanding that I'm not really feeling that great. I'm obviously not looking that great. You could probably kind of tell that my energy is just kind of like drained just because I have like a headache now that I've been talking so much. So I am going to go, but I love you guys so much and I hope you guys are having an absolutely great week. Happy February, and I will see you guys next time. Bye!